my video for February the 10th, 2019 is video number 2,992, and the title is Confessions of a Medical Heretic. With all the computer issues I've been having on my newer computer, I did not record my video earlier as I usually do. Instead, I read a book loaned to me by a friend, although I actually found it online and had a Vona reader read it to me. It was written by Robert S. Mendelssohn, MD. Let me share three quotes from the book. One, approximately 2.4 million operations performed every year are unnecessary and cost about 12,000 lives. Two, in six New York hospitals, 43% of performed hysterectomies were found to be unjustified. Three, historically, when doctors have gone on strike, the mortality rate has dropped. The copyright was 1979. If anything, I think the situation has gotten worse. And I have had instead of it has, so I didn't change that because it's a right word, but the wrong uh, right spelling, but the wrong word. <laughs> what I don't think he realized when he wrote it, and what most still do not want to face, is this: the agenda of the elite is not to make us well. There's no money in health or actual cures, only in treating illnesses. Of course, control is the real motivation of the establishment, and I doubt it will change without a total shift in human consciousness and some kind of powerful intervention. Actually, I think population reduction, which I didn't write in the, when I put, prepared the blurb, I didn't write that down, but of course, the agenda, a big part of the agenda is to reduce the population of the world, as I've said in many other videos, as uh, put forth on the Georgia Guidestones. And that's something that I, when I was thinking about this, I wasn't even thinking about that. When I was thinking about making the video, I wasn't thinking about that. This is the book. And that's, of course, a picture of the man. And it says over 300,000 copies sold. And again, this was from 1979. So it's not like it's something that just came out. I don't know if this uh, this uh, Mr. Mendelssohn or Dr. Mendelssohn is still alive or not. Uh, I really, I didn't explore that, but it was fascinating reading or listening and as the case may be. And for those of you that don't know, a Vona Reader is a, is a program that you can highlight the text. And I, I was reading it. He has very long chapters in this book. So it took me usually three, in most cases, three times of highlighting text and letting it read that to me. And then when that would finish, I'd go and highlight another section. And as I said, usually at most of the chapters uh, were like three times, three times I had to have the reader read a section. Uh, but that's a, a way that I can sit back and relax and listen to the book instead of actually uh, having to flip pages and, and read it. So it's much more relaxing for me to listen than to actually read. But anyway, folks, the point is we've been lied to again. And he brought this forward and gave, he's given lectures at, at universities and everything, but, and, and he's been applauded by, by doctors. But the officials that teach the doctors say, it, you know, we're not going to change anything. We're still going to go on with the agenda that we're given. We're going to teach what we've been told. And, you know, some of the prestigious universities that he's actually talked at, he's not gotten, he's gotten a good response. People like to listen to what he has to say. And as I said, it was a bestseller. So it's not like they didn't publish it. And there's been other books that have also been written along the same line in the bibliography, which I, I didn't I'll put that down and I'm not going to go look it up right now, but uh, there's other books that were also recommended that uh, talk about similar things. We do know that the establishment seems to have an agenda. They can't use war to the extent that they used to, not, at least not an overt war of fighting with uh, obvious weapons like tanks and 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 guns and things like that. Not that those things are not used anywhere. They're used in the third world still. But 
they're not so much used in the Western world. In the Western world, it's all a, a more clandestine uh, way of making us sick and by, with chemtrails and fluoridating our water, which he talks about in the, uh, in the book, and other, other methods that compromise our natural immunity. You know, if, and, and he goes into great detail about not vaccinating children. And again, this was 1979. Uh, you know, my, my daughter was just a little girl then, uh, eight year, five years old. My son was nine at the time when this book came out. So they were still children. Uh, and my daughter was very much against vaccinations. I don't know if she's ever changed her story on that, but I know initially she was homeschooling the children and they, and, uh, they weren't getting vaccinated and they were doing very well on their test. She was doing a good job of homeschooling, at least with the, I, I know the oldest one and perhaps this, the, the two girls, which are older than my grandson, uh, she was doing a very good job of, of educating them. But then of course, economically, they had to have two incomes because that was just the, that's just the reality. And that's, they're pushing parents uh, away from uh, natural, you know, breastfeeding and, and things that would help make people healthy. They want, they want to push the vaccinations. They want to push the things that keep the medical establishment in business, number one, and also to decrease and, and make people sick and decrease the population ultimate agenda. Uh, that's again, the Georgia Guidestones that indicates that. Uh, and so they're doing everything in their power of polluting our bodies, polluting our minds, polluting everything with crap <laughs> uh, to make us so that we cannot become the best we can be, so that we cannot turn the world around. It's a, it's a, it's a prison planet and humanity has been enslaved for a very long time. And I appreciate people that stand up like this. Now this was given to me, the book was given to me by someone who actually works for the government. He, he's on a government job. And I've talked to some other people, I've met some other people who don't want me to say it in my videos, but who also are aware of what, the, of what is being done to poison us and to, to keep us in a state of poor health rather than to help cure us, cure diseases and, and make us healthy because there's no money. If we, if we were all healthy and vibrant, number one, we'd live a lot longer, which is you know, not to their advantage because then we'd be collecting our social security and stuff. It's very advantageous for us to die and then the family doesn't get what's been put in. That's something that, that they've been taken out of our, of our paychecks and out of the money that we've earned for decades and we've all accumulated a lot of wealth, but they've not used that for our benefit. They've used that for their own benefit. And they've been doing lots of things that promote their agenda. And by they, I, I don't like to even think in terms of they, but there is a dark element that has run roughshod over human rights and roughshod over common sense for a long time, it's affected the medical profession, but everything else too. Everything is driven by the profit motive. Everything is driven by control. Uh, they, they want to enslave us, and by far and large, they have succeeded in enslaving us. Will we be turned around? Will things change? I mean, again, I say it's going to take divine intervention. Some kind of a powerful intervention of some sort has to shift either us or take out this dark. I don't think it's just a matter of taking out the, the powers that be, as it were. I think it's a matter of transformation of human consciousness. And of course, that's being done a little bit uh, on an individual level, but it isn't being done, it doesn't seem to me, on the collective level that needs to change if we're to have heaven on earth. And that has long been, as I keep saying, my goal and why I keep doing the things that I do. Anyway, folks, I appreciate you listening and namaste.